So uh, this is a video to show my um, DIY uh, reverse laser alignment, CO2 laser alignment tool. Um, there's a company online, I don't wanna get too specific, that sells one of these that's made out of metal. Um, but I, after seeing a few videos of maybe things not being completely circular and stuff like that, I didn't wanna risk the 40 bucks. Plus I'm super impatient. So I uh, went through a bunch of iterations. Uh, I'll go through the beginning real quick. I don't like to make long videos. I like to get straight to the point. You go on Amazon, you buy a laser bore sighter. Uh, these are used to sight uh, weapons downrange to make sure that the scopes are on site. Uh, this is the size of a 223. Um, so here you go, laser bore sighter. Here is the skew. Um, I think this was $12 on Amazon. I bought two of them, came out to 28 bucks with tax. Um, got this, used my trusty calipers, measured it, uh, went through all my iterations, started off way wrong, got, got better. <clears throat> so uh, on the final iteration, here you go, 30 millimeters. There's a half a millimeter hole in the tip of it to make sure that the beam comes out circular. A lot of these come out like almost like a dash or a line. Um, so after all this iterations, I, uh, I I came up with this and it comes out pretty straight. So uh, one advantage to the 3D printed version is if you set your Z seam to the back of it, it actually gives you a, an indicator of what is front or back or whatever you want to call it. So I marked it with a black Sharpie. So when I put the site, or the bore inside of it like this, I always know that I'm putting it straight. Every single time, you know, nothing's ever gonna be perfect. So when you spin it, the laser will move. But if you know that every time you put it in, you have an indication of that it's straight up and down, uh, it made life a lot easier. Um, I noticed on the all metal versions, they're just smooth metal. So it, you, there's no orientation to it. So this was kind of a, a happy mistake here. So um, when I usually put it in, I'll just rest it here and make sure that it's sitting in evenly. And then for even pressure, I've been using just a pair of uh, quick release. To seat it in. And to make sure it's seat seated properly, I'll roll it just to make sure that I don't see any variation, but everything looks good right here. Take off the back of it. Oh, actually I left the batteries in it. So there you go. And now over to the laser. All right, so for the next part, um, this is no way, shape or form supposed to be a reverse alignment tutorial. Um, there are people who have done a great job at that. I've already talked about Bearded Build Co before. That's where I watched this, or that's where I actually learned how to do all this. So let me just show you how my tool works. Similar to his, you unscrew the cap, you remove the airline, you place this thin with, I use the indicator pointing forward, place your batteries in, turn on your laser. I then took a, a, a note from the American Photonics um, video uh, in which I just completely took off this mirror. I took the mirror off, take this mirror off. It's the best way it was, that's all I can say. It's scary because you know, you're taking the mirror off and you're trying to align them. But what I did is you un you untighten all of these, right? Unti unscrew the, the lock nuts, flatten, tighten everything down, flatten the mirror, remove the mirror. Put a piece of tape on the back right here on this door, okay? Do the same alignment you would do. Put a piece of tape here, mark it close. With the reverse alignment, put a dot. Move it far, put a dot, right? Line this up, don't even worry about the mirror because once you have this lined up, you just put that mirror in with the laser and you just basically, I don't know how to say it, but you just adjust this while the mirror is going and uh, you can see back. So instead of having to sit here and tinker with this over and over and over again, you put the mirror in, these are all completely flat. You be aim the beam backwards and that's how you get your first alignment. Then you go and focus this one, just like you did this one. You go forward, make a dot, make a mark with a dot, go backwards, make a mark where the dot's at, right? But if you do this first and go take this mirror off, it was 100% easier. After that, you go back there, you mark where it's at, you fire the tube, mark where it's at, adjust the tube, shoot that, make sure everything is aligned back and forth. And I mean, the whole process, once I had this tool took 25 minutes, 
So I hope this helps. Um, I would love to give this one away to somebody who's supporting this channel. I know I'm pretty new at this, but um, anybody who uh, would like to get this, I will give you this and I will print this for you together and send it to you free of charge. So if you'd like one of these, just leave a comment, subscribe, and uh, I'll have a random drawing and uh, notify the winner. So hope you guys have a good day. Take care. Bye.